My name is Metin Arıbaşır. This is 105th part of explanation of my theory. Yes. According to my theory and my formulas, my Arıbaşır's highest ionization energy, smallest electron wavelength, prediction formulas in an atom. 1. Only one electron can be connected, bound to each proton in an atom. Every proton can only have one electron in an atom. There is at most one electron per proton in an atom. There is at most one electron connected to each proton in an atom. 2. Each electron connected to each proton in an atom has a different wavelength. The wavelength of each electron connected bound each proton in an atom is different. 3. There are as many ionization energy values as the number of electrons or the number of protons. There is one ionization energy value per electron in an atom and each of these ionization energy values is different. There is different ionization energy value per electron in an atom. Each electron connected to each proton in an atom has a different ionization energy. 4. Each different ionization energy value in an atom represents a peculiar, specific and different wavelength size of each connected bound electron. 5. Why are there different wavelength size electrons in an atom? Remember from my former videos, lambda n snapshot, please. Lambda normal as a free electron motion form, a kind of free electron motion form. Relatively, they, its wavelength size. Lambda normal is 91.155 nanometer. Most common wavelength size electron motion form is our universes in our atoms. In atoms. Why are there different wavelength size electrons in an atom? 91.155 nanometer wavelength size electron motion form is most common electron size in our universes and in our atoms. When 91.155 nanometer wavelength size electron make joint motion with one proton, its wavelength doesn't change. Say hydrogen. Small circles, one proton represents one proton. Joint motion, same direction, axis here, and this is greater one. Read circles. 91.155 nanometer lambda normal wavelength electron motion form most common okay doesn't change while doing while making joint motion with one proton then here two protons entangled tick 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 this is one proton and this is Another one proton, okay. For helium, for lithium, etc. Yes. But 
when two or more protons entangled. Lambda normal 91.155 nanometer initial wavelength size electron will be connected. One of these protons starts change its wavelength and first 91.155 nanometer size electron shrinks inversely proportional squared electron or proton number. Yes, here, in that shot again, I advise you to notice this is my, one of my main energy formulas and these formulas smallest electrons wavelength or highest ionization energy of an atom formulas my formulas I derived, I derived it these from my energy formula here and absolutely it works predicted like this right side from data left side my prediction according to my formulas and in accepted physics there is no different wavelength size electrons in a multi-electron atom or in an atom they think of only pointless particle point particle dimensionless point particle electron no wavelength in fact yes but when two or more protons entangled Lambda normal 91155, 91.155 nanometer initial wavelength size electron will be connected. One of these protons starts changes its wavelength. And first, 91.155 nanometer size electron shrinks inversely proportional squared electron or proton number. This is smallest electron in an atom. And it has highest ionization energy in this atom. For example, smallest bound electron wavelength size will be lambda normal divided by 2 square is equal to 22.78 nanometer. And highest ionization energy of helium will be, according to my formulas, 87.8. 18 10 to the minus 8, 19 joule or 54.41 eV. Okay, all the other electrons change their 91.155 nanometer wavelength. Change these are Aridashir's mine, highest ionization energy and smallest electron wavelength in an atom formulas. Here. N is wave number. 6. In new multi electron atom conditions, each different wavelength size electron stays in this situation as a ground state or undisturbed in balance, in balance condition. Each of what? data from Wikipedia, ionization energies of elements, some of hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon. Okay, right side my prediction. Here, 
high ionization energy of, say, hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, and smallest electrons wavelength. Look at that. Shrinks. Okay, according to my energy formulas. Yes. Hydrogen, hydrogen. Now, helium. This is second ionization energy of helium. 54.4 EV. Okay. According to my formulas, I predicted 54.4 EV. Same. And it represents 22.78 nanometer wavelength, smallest electron in smallest electron in helium atoms, smallest electrons wavelength of smallest electron in helium atom. Now lithium, third ionization energy. Okay. 122.45 EV, I predicted 122.4 EV, and it represents 10.128 nanometer wavelength, smallest electrons wavelength of lithium. Okay, then beryllium, 1, 2, 3, 4, fourth ionization energy, here, okay, computed, experimentally, Theoretically, according to my formulas, beryllium, 217.6 EV, same, okay, then represents 5.69 nanometer wavelength size, smallest electrons wavelength in beryllium, etc. You can compute, according to my theory and my formulas, all of highest ionization energies and smallest electron motion forms wavelength in an atom, built electron atom. This is so important according to my theory and my formulas. There is no distinction and there is no discerning these uh, different wavelength, wavelength size electrons, okay, in accepted physics. These are same, smalls. Then, Another ionization energies represents different sizes, different wavelengths, like this. Okay, say, for example, this is hydrogen. Okay, this is hydrogen. This is 22.78 nanometer wavelength, smallest wavelength electron. This is greater one. What does it represent? 24.58. EV corresponds this wavelength. You will count. Okay. And for lithium, etc. I will explain in detail next. Have a good evening. See you later.